Hello everyone, this is DJ Russian bringing to you a new experience at WZBND. No, no, I'm just messing with you guys. This is your boy Russian. We are Broken Not Dead, and this is the mobile game review of Raid Shadow Legends. Alright, so before we begin, let me just let you guys know I am not sponsored by this game in any sort of way. Second of all, a lot of YouTubers used to advertise this game their channel and it seems that people have been given a lot of hate lately about Rage Shadow Legends. And I don't know why I have my own thoughts about that, a lot of times issues when People advertise with them, they have issues getting paid, whatever the reason, I decide to take a look at that. And now third, I played this game for a whole month, uh, actually about a month and a half before I decided to do that review, so it could be an honest review. Also, I played with three different accounts where I started the second account about three days after and the other account a week after the first account. So. I would have a little bit of experience uh, when playing the games with the secondary and third account. So anyway, let's start. So, Raid Shadow Legends, a game produced and published by Parian Global, a free-to-play mobile game that is played in sponsors allegedly every YouTuber in the platform, but it will probably never sponsor this channel after this video. So, how are we going to rate this game? The game will be graded in five categories. Graphics, hardware, difficulty, fun, and price, on scores from one to five. So let's begin. Number one, graphics. All right, so games nowadays come in many ways. Retro style, AAA titles, Stigman, and so on. So this section will be grade the game by how well the graphics achieved what they were meant for the intended purpose. So, Raid Shadow Legends is a fairly high-end graphics game. Something you can tell was one of the main concerns when putting the game together. I mean, come on, look at those sexy graphics and animations, oh yeah, you, you know you wanna look, come on. So the game actually achieves what it's meant to by using the graphics to portray the world in a beautiful way with great combat sequences and story. So on that, Raid gets a 5 out of 5. Number 2. Hardware. Alright, so not everybody can buy the latest system or latest mobile phone. And while most games are made for the latest systems, some are able to still run lower systems with some limitations. So here we're gonna look at the game on how much the game demands of the system. So I ran this game in two systems. One, my Android emulator, and for the second hardware, I use a Samsung J2 Prime. Probably the phone that best represents the broken not dead channel. And here are the specifications of the phone. First released in November 2016 with 540 by 960 pixels resolution. It has a quad core 1.4 GHz Cortex A53 CPU and Mali. T720 MP2 GPU and 16 gigabytes internal storage with 1.5 gigabytes RAM. As I usually say, this device runs on broken dreams and lost hope myself. But if it can run something, mostly any system should be able to. Now, while RAID is very dependent on the hardware it's running, it was able to run on the J2 really well, minus one or two issues. Those being load times. While during the gameplay I experienced almost no lag, loading areas took a little bit longer than it should, but less than I would expect running on an older Android device. Another issue was a battery drainage. The game used a lot of computing power, so make sure to watch how fast your battery is draining or carry a power bank to make sure it stays charged. And last but not least, this game needs a lot of space to run. 
As you start the game, it will only take a couple of gigabytes, but after a full week of gameplay, my phone was running out of space on the internal memory, even if the game was only showing as using 2 gigabytes from the external card. And so, Raid gets a 3 out of 5 on this category. Number 3. Difficulty Alright, so everyone's different and while there is always a learning curve in any game you play, some games can be played by a 5 year old and some games seem to require at least an engineering degree and two PhDs for you to even get past the first levels. So in this section we'll be looking on how hard the learning curve in those games are. Alright, so Raid is not really a hard game to wrap your mind around. I do believe the main issue comes down to manage the multiple quests, missions, champions, material, equipment, etc. The hardest part is really knowing what champions to keep and which ones to use to feed the others and make them even stronger. And also managing all the equipment to gather from dungeons. One thing to look out for is the ratings each champion has for all the different areas and the best equipment to use on each in the beginning until you find out what better works for you. And because of that, Raid gets a 3 out of 5 for a medium difficulty. Number 4. Fun Alright, so games are supposed to be fun and a way for you to forget about your problems for a while and adventure in different worlds. Here we're gonna look at the balance between frustration and enjoyment during gameplay. Raid's a fun game, no doubt about it. The game overall is fun and makes time pass really fast since there's always a lot to do in the game and as long as you manage well your energy between dungeons, arena and clan combat, you should be able to play for hours non-stop and without the need to make any purchase on the store. Now the only caveat I had had to do with the chat. Some people in the community can get really personal and even aggressive. Most of those players get banned from chat, but are quickly replaced by others with the same mindset, so I usually avoid staying around the chat room unless necessary. So, since chat's an option for players, I'll give Raid a 5 out of 5 for fun. Number 5. Price No game, even if free to play, is completely free. So, how does the ticket price or in-store purchase stack up? Is the game worth the price and label, or a waste of money? That's probably the main issue in the game. Besides from some pack sales, where I only found one that was really worth it for $2.99 and even so in the beginning, most of the other sales can run you way too high for way too little. Every now and then, the game will run a quick sale that may or may not be worth for most players, but mostly you can get the same equipment or materials I just put in a little bit of work and time in the game. Also, just because you paid for a certain amount of special crystals, it, it really does not mean you're gonna get special creatures. Uh, also, the percentage for that is very, it's extremely low for you to get one of the gold champions, even if you buy the gold crystals, what are awfully expensive. So. It can become really heavy in your wallet if you want to really dedicate time to this game. So, because of that, Raid will get a 2 out of 5 for very expensive on my ratings. Now, the main question is, should I install this game? Well, it all depends. I came into this game expecting it to be a quick install and install process, but I realized after a week that I had put about 10 hours a day on the game and didn't even feel the time pass. So yeah, if you have the space, time, and can keep track of your spending, you should be fine and have lots of hours of fun this game. Now, one other thing you're gonna realize about the game is it's the kind of game like many of them coming out today that they pretty much just have a list and they put check marks on things they are supposed to have in those games. So, don't expect to see a game that is innovating the whole mobile experience. It's just a different clone of a different game. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed. I plan to do more reviews about games, not just mobile games. Um, if you guys have any games that you would like to see featured in the channel or games that you think they're really bad, they don't have to be good games. They can be horrible, horrible games. And even games, they're just made to break your wallet. Let me know in the comments if you guys think I should add anything to the ratings or make the ratings a little different. Let me know as well. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed this video, uh, don't forget to leave me a like. If you guys didn't, give me a dislike. I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell sign. Share this video if you can, it really helps the channel. I hope you guys have a great day. And as always, I'll see you in the game.